How's it going guys? My name's Graham and welcome to the Last Stand Union City. The first two Last Stand games are already quite large by Flash game standards. Union City is like a full-fledged game. It's probably gonna take multiple episodes to get through. I don't think I've ever actually played it. I think I like played it for 10 minutes sort of thing thinking I was like, oh, a fun Flash game. It's like, no, this thing is massive. It builds on everything that came before in such fun looking ways with a lot of like cool survival mechanics as well as just shooting zombies in the head. It comes from con artists and armor games who are right now actively running a Kickstarter for the full follow up to this, The Last Stand Aftermath. 3D isometric roguelike zombie shooter game. It looks fantastic. Do not miss your chance to support that Kickstarter. I would love so badly for their awesome ideas to come to Steam and console. I just want to read this little note in the background here. We, we fought our way through across that entire map and then you end up in Union City right at the end of the last game. Heading home. I've been gone for too long. It's such a hellish week of work to make sure that I'm for work again on Monday on, on time maybe. There was something around in Jonestown, which is one of the last towns we went to. People getting some kind of illness. Ah, well, be home soon. Mm. So is Union City where we're from? And this is like a postcard that we would have sent home. That's really messed up, actually. <laughs> That's really cool. That, like, monochromatic background along with the classic Newgrounds logo. It looks even better with con artists because he just has that tiny hint of red, but it's mostly just the black and white. The Last Stand Dead Zone? How did I not know that existed? It looks really cool. It's like an RPG online browser game in the Last Stand universe. Unfortunately, it's being shut down at the end of the year, December 31st, 2020. I'll have to try to make sure to like play that before it's gone. <laughs> For now, Union City, let's, let's get working on that. There's save slots in this. I think I'm going to do the actual survivor mode. You need to find food and sleep. Ammunition is more rare. This one is just running around shooting things. Headshots only. That's really cool because that would be like a genuine zombie kill tactic. You have to destroy the brain and hardcore character only has one life, but loot is better. Actually, I'm going to go with the hard mode, the survivor mode. Graham. Oh, whoops. Well, that was that isn't Christian Gray, the guy from uh, what's 30 Shades of Gray. <laughs> Something like that. Well, it'll be Graham Gray, which is kind of funny because the little bit uh, repeats. Oh yeah, that slick mid-apocalypse haircut. I just got my own haircut, so I guess I can <laughs> lean in on that a little bit. Oh, just so white. Where's the pale? That's the maximum kind of white that we want to go for. Ooh, a, a zombie apocalypse chin strap or Lincoln or a goatee, a soul patch. Those are a bold move. Considering that, you know, we've been fighting our way through this for months, I got a fresh new cut, but I got a grizzled beard. I had limited capacity on the razor, you know, limited ammo or durability or something. An occupation. Karn art artist, that's really funny because that's the developer. I'm trying not to look at like the skills. I want to pick just based on w what it is. Nothing really scientists or biologists say. Hey, I, I don't have any representation here. Create custom? What? Well, as a biologist, I would think that hopefully through education, I have a little bit extra intellect. Agility and deafness, how, how well you can handle firearms, I would genuinely assume I'm not quite good at that. You have to do a lot of field work, carrying around heavy backpacks and things, so maybe that adds a little bit of strength, probably a little bit of endurance, and I maybe I would have a little bit of luck. There you go, there's my custom biologist build. Through those, I can s uh, select dominant skills. Searching, there's an attention to detail there. Fitness, maybe some survival? I'm honestly not that great at those sorts of things. I can like start a fire, but not that well. And you know, hopefully I would have a, a little bit, uh, do you know what, first aid, because I, I totally have to go through like first aid training and like wilderness first aid and things like that. There you go, that's my biologist build for The Last Stand Union City. That's so cool that it lets you do a custom build like that. That's, now I get to feel like Graham Gray 
is this real character who has a real backstory that I could invest in and have like a genuine RPG feel. How are we driving around? Hedgehog launch and crush the castle like Arbor Games on his phone, which is pretty funny. Oh, this is like maybe that's back at the beginning of everything here. This feels a lot like the beginning of Telltale Games Walking Dead. Just like a, a similar, another zombie game. It has a similar beginning to it. Task accepted, breaking through. Find a way to Brookvale. So I am a different character. Ooh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a weak looking punch. Ah, yeah, yeah. Just start fist pumping. Huh, huh. Start punching up at those really tall zombies. I can also give them some crotch shots too. Oh. I can be searching right now. Okay, less goofing around, more trying to do actual things. Uh, ammo, it weighs nothing, so I guess take it. A gun, yeah, that's good to have. And a tire iron. Oh, I have to, I have to like, worry about weight and things? Holy shit. This is kind of incredible, isn't it? Am I, am I overreacting, or is this as cool as I think it is? I would like a tire iron, and as a backup, the gun... I really don't want the gun to be my main thing. Because I'm a little bit scared of, like, blowing through it. You know, I'm only going to have so much ammo. Is there more? Can I search the other trunks? Oh, oh my... Is that even human? Is this back at the very start of things? I don't know. I, I have a backpack, and I immediately started, like, looting. So that makes me think that I had some sense that, like... Oh, yeah, shit's hit the fan. I, I need to start immediately looking out for myself. Can you just leave? Oh, you can just leave. Yes, it was as simple as that. What the hell is going on here? All right, so that leads me to believe he doesn't quite know what's going on. But I guess the people who immediately jump to action are the ones who are going to survive the apocalypse, not the people who just are like, no, sorry, please don't kill me. <laughs> I don't know, I do not know what good uh, picking up, like, shirts would would have. I can shove enemies. Whoop. Oh god, oh god. Uh, I gotta get closer. Man, does that ever not work that well. Probably because I, I invested, like, so little in strength. Oh god, the bodies actually, like, lay, lay behind. Oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> this is intense. This is actually a little more... Terrifying than just barricading myself up. Hello, anybody home? Like, this is more intense than just looking out for myself in the, the first two games. Although I did still find The Last Stand 2 to be, like, a crazy fun game. T-shirt, do not tumble dry. That That's all dumb. I see no reason. I guess I'll take it because it weighs so little. Maybe people will want to trade later on or something. Shot glass, an orange, and some water. I do have to worry about keeping myself fed. So that seems important to pick up. Oh, God. Damn it. Empty. Best go further into town. I kind of... I'm so used to seeing myself on the left-hand side of the screen. I thought I saw those two bodies and assumed one of them was me. I'm getting wrecked here. I'm trying to be really cautious and, like, hitting from a distance. Oh, oh. That's not going very well. Ammo! Took a lot more damage than I would have liked. I mean, I, I would have liked zero damage, so yes, obviously. <laughs> Shit, I guess I can check like every... Every house. Markings to a safe house. The one I just came from didn't feel that safe. Oh! Did you let me in? It's very barricaded over there. Talk to Jackson. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, I just moved in. Are you one of the neighbors? I guess that doesn't matter now. You're safe here. So there there are legitimate boarded up safe houses. Was that s painted thing pointing at this house? Is the one I'm in? It might have, actually. But there's an actual address to go along. This all started a few days ago. People just started killing each other. The ones that killed didn't stay dead. <sighs> stay here and rest up. I've got Sarah and Peter from next door staying in my room upstairs. You're welcome to sleep on the floor in here if you need to. That's actually really nice of you. 
I'm a little bit injured. I probably shouldn't steal. But I, I kind of think that's not a real consideration of this game. I think it's okay. Reach level two. I, uh, okay. I didn't expect that. How many points do I have? One point to invest. Well, since I started with such weak precision, I should try to build that up a little bit, I would think. I'm pretty well fed, pretty well rested. Oh, with more strength, I can probably carry more. And do I have other points to invest? Nine points. Ten points. Okay, holy crap. Uh, I'm using a lot of blunt stuff right now. And I I'm going to try and lean on that quite heavily early on. Probably I'll find pistols first. Searching, I'm doing good at. Security, ability to get past security of all types, including lock doors and digital. And smart's general mental ability helps with trade, getting more benefits from books, and earning XP. I'm going to put more into smarts then. It's, it's, if it's going to build towards experience and things, then yeah, I feel like that's going to add a lot. Oh, I healed. There is a lot in here. I would feel bad just taking any and all of it. All of this is premium. That might be because I'm playing the Armored Games version. I don't know what a thudder is. Is that a, a weapon? There's a survivor's jacket and pants. And a, a, other, a, a mask. Combat pants. Kevlar vest. That's really intense. I don't know if I need all of that. And I'm guessing that's a, a weapon. Like, I feel like I took a lot just now. I feel maybe a little bad about it, even. I will put that on. I guess it just looks cool. <laughs> if I put on all the survivor gear, will it keep me alive? Or is it just kind of neat? Because I'm kind of getting the impression that it's just about the aesthetics. <laughs> Certain things just look cooler. So I'm sticking with the checkers. I like, I like the looks of them. Presumably I can sell a bunch of that stuff. I can jump. I did not realize that previously. I feel like I'm going to walk into a room that just has zombies waiting. We can't leave yet, honey. We need to wait it out. Oh, you're not one of them, thank God. Jackson was kind enough to take us in. He secured the place as best he could. I don't think they're getting in here anytime soon. My husband has lost it. He wants to leave. I think it's best we stay here and wait this thing out, right? Anyway, good luck finding your way. Ooh, I'm trying. Ooh, nice haircut, Peter. <laughs> he looks visibly shaken. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why won't they stop? Why is this happening? They already took my kids. What do they want from me? We have to leave. We have to leave. The bags are packed and ready. We can go. We can go now. Seems like you're having a crisis, and I don't see myself being of any immediate help. Detrius? Detritus? Like, they're named after, like, rotten things. I don't know if that's a real band. It kind of sounds like it would be. Wild Man Book. Hard to grow a beard and live in a tree. How to. How to, apparently. So that, it, it mentions something about books, about using books, perhaps. Weekly gossip mag, I'm, that's not going to help. Plus four to survival skill. Yes, that was what I wanted. And if I have my, my smarts jacked up, you get more benefit from books. So that seems crazy worthwhile. General endur endurance for withstanding a survival situation reduces requirement for food and increases damage resistance. Whereas fitness... Reduces the amount of stamina used by shoving, jumping, and using melee weapons. Okay, I gotta be careful with the jumping. Jumping specifically is a, a unique separate drain. A uh, dull knife. I thought that was a door, so I kind of, I just skipped over investigating it before. Well, it's been great. Oh, luggage. Cookies, yes please, for crying into. Uh, big glasses. And I'll take those. Who knows, they might be stylish. Maybe they look cool. Yeah, let's throw those on. Big glasses. Wait. Oh, I would have to, I have to take off the mask. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hipster zombie apocalypse. My hair was gone for half a second there. It's pretty funny. Oh, now I'm getting a better sense of, uh, of spacing out my attacks. 
some ammo. Slugger, kill 30 infected with melee. There's a, achievements to be earned along the way too. I'm quite surprised that in, in anticipation of that Kickstarter, that con artist armor, oh shit. All right, shove him, shove him. That they didn't re-release this on, on Steam. I know for the Don't Escape and Deep Sleep series, they had already done kind of a packaged version of that. That they then put a book on some topic, so it might not might not be a useful book. Uh, package those games together for like Steam releases. They didn't add anything new to the games, but you know, it's just a polished experience. You can have a, a nice save file. And uh, this seems like there's so much going on in this game. I'm I'm a little surprised they wouldn't want that. Preserved is the wrong word because the game should remain preserved regardless. Oh yeah, I'm finding all the survival materials. Con artists' like visual style is so detailed and interesting. Oh, okay. Try and push it a little bit. I guess I don't know well enough how locks work. I did at one point. <laughs> okay, push the pin up, hold the key longer to push it higher, watch and listen for the pin to pass over the sweet spot, lock all pins in the sweet spot to complete. complete. Forcing is risky, the percent shown is your chance of success, if you fail you break the lock. This doesn't seem to work the way it's supposed to. I can't just hold W. I tap W and that happens. I hold W and nothing happens until I release it. Well, it just suddenly worked. I, I just decided to do the hold and that was everything. I, I, I don't know what I did. Whew. The back... The backhand or coming coming at him from behind there apparently is the is the way to do it. Heck yeah. <laughs> that was super effective. Hip hop ninja. Battle craft and another detritus. Everyone, big big fan base in this uh this particular area, hey? Baseball bat, that seems like it would be useful, and a bunch of garbage. There's actually quite a lot of garbage in this game that I have to like specifically no, to not pick up and use. It's damage is 7, knockback 13. It doesn't look like it has a durability. Like, I don't think it's going to break on me. So if that's the case, then I am unequipping that in favor of the baseball bat. Two tire irons, they're pretty heavy. I think I can afford to drop one of them. <laughs> I don't need to load up that intensely. Yeah, the baseball bat. That feels like the way to go. Ooh. I, I got so many shirts already. Medicine, probably. Nice. Okay, the scavenging aspect of this game is... It's, like, pretty realistic, I would say. I At this point, there's a lot of zombie games out there, and a, a, a lot who have done very similar feeling mechanics. I need to get home to Beth. I can run a little bit. So can the little zombies, apparently. Oh my god, that one has like a knife sticking out of its chest. There's so many bodies here that's so wild, because it's like clearly some shit went down here. Oh, that's my experience at the bottom, I just realized. Uh, there, just so many, so many games have done those sorts of searching mechanics. But like, keep in mind how old this game is. This came out on as a Flash game in like 2011. That's like very impressive to me. The the dedication to having all that so fleshed out. Ray, old man, you the one who killed everyone down there? Damned shuffling, rambling things. They still downstairs? I'm too old for this business. Well, you don't want to like work together, help each other, trade? I don't know, dude. I'd, I'd love to not just leave you alone up here. If you don't want any help, then I guess I, I'll leave you to it. I kind of, I got places to be, so... To each their own. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go pop in here real quick. 
you and I can catch up when I get out, okay? Does that sound gravy? Oh, the knockback in the baseball bat is already crazy useful. I might never use a gun. <laughs> I bet there's sections of the game that'll be super overwhelming. Like, there'll just be so many monsters. Bah, bah. <laughs> and zombies. I couldn't even have panicked to panic too much to even call them by the right name. I was not expecting, like, events like that. And uh, I'm immediately on board. It's super cool. I don't know what's up with this weird little cubby. Nails. I mean, things like that seem useful. Or like a hockey stick. Some kind of Canadian egg flipper, hey? But, like, I am... Oh, that might get a star because I'm specifically proficient with melee weapons. I think that's what that's telling me. I don't know. I was, I was, I was surprised. The nails, who knows? Maybe they'll have some use or people will just be excited. People will just be willing to trade, buy, sell things. There's a, a, an abandoned flashlight. A spatula. <laughs> that's a regular egg flipper. <laughs> That was basically the more or less the exact description I wanted it to have, seeing as the hockey stick is the Canadian egg flipper, a spatula is the, the standard kind, the type you'd expect. I bet this has a zombie in it. Oh, I immediately tried to like run away. Oh, I took all. <laughs> I tried to back away and A is the take all button. I just kind of assumed something was going to jump out at me and, and try and F me up, you know? I would say I need more strength. That's 20 extra pounds to the max carry weight. I got a lot going on there. Keep more, more blunt damage, more smarts. Both of those seem super useful. Security. Uh, whenever that eventually comes up, the lock picks is one thing, but if I ever have to deal with an electronic lock, then I'll, I'll be super like disadvantaged there. See here, I'm getting 55-55. In my, like, in the UI here in the bottom left where I have the two different bars, which I assume are health and stamina. Oh. Let me think. If I, if I jump... Okay, so that's stamina and health. Health might refill when you're... When you level up. Food and sleep are separate from those two things. And that's that survival mechanic that I agreed to by playing in hard mode. It won't open. The military guy put this fence up a few days ago, blocking the road to Brookvale, then abandoned it. We need something to cut our way through. I know Ray at number 12 has a pair of bolt cutters. I borrowed them last month. Hurry! Okay, except, yeah, I'll go, I'll go hook you up. I know where Ray's at. I have a little journal here. You, you weren't planning to, to do that yourself? You were okay with just finagling that around? Just doing that a whole bunch until maybe someday you manage to just jiggle it just right and the whole thing breaks open? Good friggin' luck. I don't think that's how locks work. What's that? A bastard Ed sent you, huh? Bolt cutters. He borrowed them weeks ago and never returned them. They're probably next door in his stinking garage. Go tell him that he's still got the damn things. Except, am I am I gonna earn all of these different experience all at once? Uh, it might still might still be the same quest worth of experience. Oh, are we getting day and night cycles? I kind of think we might be. <laughs> I, I my first swing there, I panicked a little bit because I had a brief moment where I was like, oh shit, that might be a regular dude, not a zombie. <laughs> Oh, he's really vigilant. Kind of freaks me out every time. I think I'm going to get shot down. Ooh, now it's worth 300. What? I have them? Um, maybe I didn't return them. Here's the key to my garage. Go find them for yourself and bring them back. Weird that you immediately trusted me with this. I am switching to a gun. Because I'm, I'm assuming... Oh god, oh god, it wasn't loaded. Bah! I, I, I shoved him away. What is going on? This was a terrible time to switch to using a gun, apparently. Jesus. This sucks. I'm... The... It's... Ammo is super limited. Uh, it's weaker than I expected it to be. That went poorly. <laughs> Am I even... I'm in the right house, right? 
Oh, no, no, no. This door was the, the locked one. There we go. That's what I'm waiting for. Guys, immediately running. Okay, the reloading is painful. I'm just bashing you guys up. How about that? That works infinitely better for me. Good for you. Good for me. Great. Glad everyone's on board there. Crowbar. Uh, tape. I don't know if those sorts of things are going to become useful or not. Uh, don't really care about pants. Bolt cutters. Yes, that's what, that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm here for. Every time I have to backtrack through an area, I assume things are going to pop out. You found the bolt cutters? It's the only way to get through. Here they are. Hand them over. Finally, we can make our way to safety. You're welcome. Very welcome. It seems like you guys were literally never going to achieve that without me. Hand them over. Great. Do I do I have to do I have to equip them? Is that a thing? I believe I handed them. Oh, exit. <laughs> okay. He was just gonna he was just gonna continue fiddling, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> How many of these are like separate districts and areas? Danger level ten. Alright, don't go to the forest. Pinedale was one. Pinedale's a non-issue. <laughs> Brookvale, though, I should be a little concerned. So jumping from one to four is pretty sudden, you know? You know, I'm thinking I probably don't have to be quite so precious with my stamina. It does seem to recharge. Maybe the more I use, the more often I'm going to need to sleep. But I should be like running and jumping and things without much concern. I can probably play around with some of that. Clearing different areas. Ooh, I did not expect the ability to zoom. Mouse wheels are so rarely ever a part of Flash games. <laughs> Anyways, I think it would make sense to kind of clear an area, call that an episode, and, and go from there. I think it would be fun to do like a proper series on this. Oh, going to like a sports stadium? I don't know if you can actually go there. Maybe that maybe that's only sounds maybe that's only cool on paper. <laughs> Might not live up to like what I'm imagining. I don't even know what I'm imagining, but it seems exciting and I want to check it out. I'm looking forward to doing more. Guys, The Last Stand Aftermath, check that out. Dead Zone, I have no idea. I might have to look into that myself before it goes away. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.